Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about kind of probably the best screwdriver I've probably ever had. Um, well, I guess for EDC purposes at least. Um, this is the Bitbar inline screwdriver. It's titanium, um, extremely well made, but this screwdriver for some reason is just a really cool thing. And I'll kind of give you a couple reasons why I think so. Um, first, the design. It's a it's a perfect kind of EDC carry type of screwdriver. So here's a screwdriver I've, I'll typically carry sometimes. It's a cheap Stanley, I think it costs like 10 bucks. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. It's light, but and you do get four, you know, four options here because you get a small bit and a big bit on the other side. But using the screwdriver honestly is a pain. It's um, hard to get a good grip on it, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's plastic, so if you do encounter something with a ton of torque, you're going to loosen it and eventually um, break it, so, but that's just what I had. This really changes everything because it's a very low profile screwdriver, so you put this bit back in there, you know, it's like a pen, really, it's, you know, if you put up to a pen, you know, it's about the same footprint of a pen, so very easy to carry. It's light for being a screwdriver, it's titanium, and it just works amazing. So this is probably one of the few EDC tools that I would actually take over its kind of full-size counterpart. So for example, like when it comes to pliers, you know, if I have both of these options on the table and a pair of pliers, I mean, I think in almost every scenario, I'm just gonna take the pliers, right? You know, these EDC tools are built for convenience. At the end of the day, they're, they're kind of full-size counterparts are just better. Um, where with the screwdriver, like if I have these two, I'm always taking this one. But if we put this one on the table, there's going to be a lot of situations that I might actually take this one even when I have a full-size screwdriver available to me. So let me give you a couple scenarios of where. So one thing about this one is that it works really well in small places. This square design, which at first I was a little kind of apprehensive about, actually gives you a phenomenal grip. So you can actually work in a tiny area and still apply a ton of force. Where this one, you need you know, a lot of space and you need to kind of you know get more hand rotation. You, I mean, I guess you can kind of grip it here a little bit, but to be able to apply a lot of force with just your fingers without having room to move your whole hand, the square design is extremely efficient. And you can even take that off, and now you have even a smaller screwdriver to get into places. And a good a good example of where I already use this is um, in my car, trying to loosen one of those clamp hoses where it's kind of you know tilted towards the engine where you can't fit this in there. So this is perfect, and those clamp screws have are pretty stiff, so you do need a lot of, a lot of torque. Like I could never do it with this one. So this one no problem. So that's example one of where this would be better is if you are needing a lot of torque with not where you can't really kind of get your whole hand going into it, just all fingers. And the other two benefits are, again, comes to torque. You put it in a T configuration. I mean, now you can like really lay into a screw. I mean, if you're trying to unscrew something and you're worried about stripping it, you can really kind of get into there and really just apply a ton of pressure and loosen any screw. On the flip side, you can also even put it in this configuration as well. If you're trying to tighten something, you want to just kind of get that, you know, that last amount of torque on it again. So this configuration is just awesome. I mean, like I said, really good screwdriver. It's, it's actually probably the only EDC tool I own that could replace an actual real tool. Um, if that makes sense. So like I consider this like a, like a regular tool, not just an EDC tool where my Leatherman, for example, this is an EDC tool, right? And this is something built for convenience. If I have this available and any pliers, I'm taking that. If I have this available and need a knife, I'm taking that. So this is really only going to be when I don't have an actual real tool available where this screwdriver really is going to, have some advantages over its full size counterpart um, and then obviously it takes standard bits so you can it holds three bits and everything's magnetic so you can 
you know, replace the bits, um, you know, push them out. Everything's in there pretty securely. It's a little, there we go. Put them out, switch them out, or you can, you know, like I said, I'm sure you have plenty of these laying around. You can put any bit in there you want. So any standards, a quarter inch bit works just fine. And it's, and it's got a real strong pull with the magnets. So you just put it, it goes in there, but almost the rest of the way by itself. So super cool. I'm really happy with this screwdriver. Um, you know, like I said, it's one of the few tools I've got that have gotten this excited over. I like it so much. Um, what else can I tell you here? So a couple drawbacks. Let's talk about some drawbacks um, or things I would improve on this. Uh, one is I wish they found a way to maybe make this a little bit longer so you can use double-ended bits. So I have some, you know, double-ended bits, for example. So I have a, I have a quarter inch, but it's just... I mean, you can kind of get it in there, but you know, maybe for like a light fixture or something, you could do it. But I don't know if I trust it for a lot of torque because it's just barely in there. I mean, if they just kind of gave a little bit more room and let us use double-ended double-ended bits, that just doubles your assortment of tools you can carry. Right, you go from three to six. So that would be the first thing I would suggest is making it a little bit longer. Uh, the second is this top. So it's got like a top on it right here. I wish that this top would uh, rotate because when you put your hand on it and you're screwing, you know, this, oh, oops. When you put your top on it and you're screwing, I mean, these corners are kind of eating into your hand. So it'd be nice if this top part rotated, you know, similar to something like, you know, like, like you know, it's pretty common to have the top rotate so you can push down and still have it spin. So I wish there was a way that they could have incorporated that kind of um, that kind of feature onto it, or at least maybe round it off the top. You know, make it finish it into like a ball or something, so you can kind of more comfortably rotate in your hands. But those are really that would be the only two complaints slash improvements I would make is extend this maybe by I don't know another like quarter inch just to accommodate bigger bits. And then round off the top but otherwise this thing is just a blast like couldn't be happier with it um super functional very easy to carry um you can slip this like in the kind of very end of your pocket and it just stays put doesn't move i mean it's really like a pen honestly like when you carry like an edc pen that's kind of what it feels like you're just carrying a pen around um so easily we're going to replace my stanley and this is going to be my new go-to uh, screwdriver the one thing that actually would be cool as well is if um, the company could invent a kind of a bit size pen insert. So if you can insert like a ballpoint pen in here, I mean, you can easily write with this too. I mean, it could be a make a good pen along with a couple of screwdrivers on hand. So just an idea. But otherwise, that's that's pretty much it uh, that I can share with you guys. Other, other than um, how you recommend this screwdriver. Um, now the hard, hard part's gonna be the price. It is a pricey piece of equipment. It, it goes for a hundred dollars, so which is, you know, which is pretty pricey. Um, but you know, it's something that lasts a lifetime. You know, you're not buying a, you know, a set of headphones or a phone or you know whatever something that's going to eventually kind of decay and be obsolete. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't keep this for the rest of your life. I mean, it's built extremely well like i don't have any concerns about any short kind of, kind of any corner cutting here everything is extremely well built i mean fits like a glove i mean it's just a well-made piece of equipment so at a hundred dollars it is a little hard to swallow uh, but it is worth it um, i do think if you're someone that likes kind of cool tool cool tools and uses a screwdriver on a regular basis and carries one um, this one is, I think, a, a good one to consider. So that's it for the BitBar inline uh, from Big Idea Designs. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will see you on the next one.